Hey, what's up there, Snake? I tried to do it um, by scheduling a feed, and it didn't work. I couldn't figure out how to make it go live, so I had to do it this way. What's up, Javier? How's it going, James? What's going on, Hennessy? What's going on, guys? Thanks for jumping in. Good to see you. Joel, beard fun. Clint, how you doing, man? Everybody else has a cup on these things, so I thought I would join the join the fun with that. But I got my Miami Hurricanes cup. Guys, do me a favor. If you can, make sure you hit that like button. Um, from what I understand, that just kind of, uh, I guess, makes everybody watch it more or something. So if you don't mind, hit that, hit that like button for me. Um, hope everybody's doing good. Hope you all had a uh, having a good week. Um, I'm getting ready here tomorrow to head out of town. Um, I'm a, uh, I feel like I'm following in Rob's footsteps, and I am officiating my first wedding tomorrow. My sister-in-law, or on Saturday, my sister-in-law is getting married. So uh, I'm getting ready to go out of town. But I got a box from Honest Ape been today. I've been waiting for it and uh, super stoked about it. So I'm going to do a live unboxing. So I'm going to wait for him to get on here. And then we will start the party. How's it going, everybody? Guys, thanks for coming in. Rob K's in the house. Southern Zombie, Aaron, Pepito, um, Kenny, Joel, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Polly, Flag. Hope you guys are having a great night and a great week. And we're waiting for the man of the hour, Rob from Honest Ape, to get on here. And once he gets on here, um, I will get sorry. No, my dog's actually playing with this toy. Hey, there you are. Um, my dog's playing with a toy. So if you hear a squeaking in the background, he just got a toy, new toy last week. So he's he's uh, squeaking it up. Sorry if you jumped on the other feed that I was trying to get started. I couldn't figure out how to start it. I scheduled it. It, it clocked down time down to the time it was supposed to start, and I couldn't figure out how to get it to go live. So. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to push my camera back a little bit without knocking everything off of my table. Jason, go move that stuff so I can push this back because I want to show you something before we get started. <laughs> Kenny, yeah, I wish. Beard brother, what's going on? Guys, thanks for coming by and, and, and spending some time tonight with me. Move all of it back. Push it back here some like that. If you guys can't hear me because it's a little far away, just let me know. Check out my my caddy that um, Grizzly made me, and uh, thought it was perfect to put Rob's sticker right there. So really excited about that, and I'm gonna try to maybe tilt this down just a hair so you can see that there, and uh, see so we can get a few more people to come in here, and then we will get started got a live unboxing here for you in this box from honest ape also going to announce my giveaway and uh audio is good awesome thank you sean p's in the house what's going on man so glad you could join us so i got the heat game on over there i know some guys might not be able to come because i guess there's some baseball game on tonight that uh some of y'all are into, um, but yeah, this is my, my beard caddy that I got. I actually traded Grizzly some products and he made it for me. Super awesome. And it holds two, two ounce oils and a two ounce balm and two one ounce oils and a one ounce or two ounce balm. And then you can, I put my combs and brushes in here. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. My, my, uh, my dog just, He's got a new toy and he's going nuts over it and uh, I don't want to piss him off so I don't want to take the toy away but you guys doing good what's what's everybody got in beard today let's start off with that before we start unboxing some of these goodies what does everybody have in beard what's up Gary Gary's in the house we got Cubano in the beard yeah I really dig in the uh the caddy, it's pretty cool. It sits in my on my uh, shelf or on my on my sink in the bathroom. 
Let's see, Magruder, Dutch Oil and Sherlock Balm, Liquid Gold. I have not tried that one, Josh. I have a bunch of his other products, but not Liquid Gold. Scarecrow, Mojito, Heavy Duty, Honest Amish. It's one of my favorite balms. Uh, Sherlock, Sherlock. Snakes, Beard Oil, and Uncle Donnie's Beard Butter. That's awesome. Got a couple of Uncle Donnie's Beard Butters in the house. That's awesome. Watching the Philly game right now. The, you talking about the basketball game? Sleepy Hollow, Belfast, Southern Zombie with his homemade oil. That's awesome. Spicy Citrus, Polywalk Spicy Citrus is awesome. Let's see. You're getting your Uncle Donnie sample tomorrow. That's awesome. The Castle, Joel's Rock and his Kingdom Beards Castle. Um... Joel, is that your is that your one that's the uh, lemon and vanilla? That sounds amazing. Pens oil <laughs> five W thirty, nice Kenny. <clears throat> Let me know how that works out for you. It's like uh, Scuba's video live stream the other day with Dan and and all them. All right, so we got about twenty six people. Coat of arm. Okay, okay, that one sounds really good, man. Uh, what they, Rob, I'm not giving anything away on this one unless Rob wants to uh, – Rob from Minus 8 wants to do a giveaway since I'm unboxing his stuff. But I will be announcing um, the start of my 450 subscriber giveaway. Uh, I am two subscribers away, so I'm going to announce it now, and we'll run it for a couple of weeks and, and see what we can, we can do. So, all right. So let's go ahead and get started. Rob from Honest Ape sent me this package right here, and it's it's heavy. I don't know if it tells the weight on here, um, but it's really heavy. And uh, I'm super, super stoked to try it. So he was really cool to send me these things, Rob. Rob is an awesome guy, great customer service. Um, and I think you all probably know that already, um, but super awesome guy. We talk just about every day. And um, has about 18 jobs that he does. And uh, Rob says, just so everyone knows, all of my new labels arrive tonight, four days early, and every, everything will be back in stock with new labels by Monday. That's awesome. So definitely, um, if you have not tried Rob's products yet, you definitely need to, um, especially his balms, because they're the smoothest balm I've ever used. Um, and his oils are great, too. So um, definitely check those out. And the other guys, the other companies that are in here right now, uh, Kingdom and Gary with Chesapeake and Polly with Polywogs, those are some great companies too. So if you haven't tried those guys out, you definitely need to do that. Um, Joel with Kingdom Beer Company works and, and, and promotes his company and pushes probably uh, one of the hardest working guys that I can tell just from social media um, out there. He really pushes hard. And the other guys are, of course, great guys. They do great things too. So make sure you check that out. But um, let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, he sent me just about one of everything that he carries. So we're going to get started. The first thing that you'll notice that I noticed when I opened the box is a handwritten note. And if you watch any of my videos, you know that the handwritten notes really mean a lot to me. Um, it shows a, a customer that the um, that the, 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 the owner of the company really cares. Um, just an extra touch. Um, I know Gary does that. I know pretty much all the other guys on here does that as well. But it says, I hope you enjoy all the products, little chimps, and a look at what the new labels and containers for the bombs. Keep me posted. And I look forward to the unboxing and the giveaway. Best regards, Rob. So really cool. Has his logo and his information on there. And uh, if you want to get in touch with Rob, I'm, I did not know how to um, – I tried to start a different feed earlier and it didn't really work. I couldn't figure out how to go live. So um, I started this way. I was not able to pin um, all of Rob's information in here. But when I get done the stream, I will put all that in uh, the description box. So you can check out Rob's website. You can check him out on Instagram and Facebook. Get in touch with him. Make sure you get it. Also, there is a coupon code that you can use right now to purchase everything that he has left in stock before he rolls out all of the new bomb containers and all of the new um 
labels, and that I believe is Ape Face 50. Rob, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Ape Face 50, and you get 50% off. Yep, Ape, Ape Face 50. 50% off is already low pricing, so you can get quite a bit of stuff uh, for just a little bit of money. So make sure you take advantage of that sale. Alex, thanks for coming on. Caleb, uh, Beard Brother, anybody else that have joined us uh, here recently, really appreciate it. Uh, so let's dive right in. I'm super, ex I'm super stoked. Because in this box has some of Rob's uh, newly launched children's um, line products. And my son um, is, is super excited. He was jumping up and down in the kitchen today when he, when he saw the package because he knew he was getting some beard mail, as he called it. And uh, so that's really cool. Uh, beard, uh, beard Talk with Matt. Thanks for jumping on, man. Good luck to your Red Sox um, today. Uh, maybe. Uh, finishing out that uh that game so the first thing i noticed in here was this little uh monkey uh you know little duck type thing what are they called um but that's kind of a cool touch there what is it called yeah. rubber ducky there you go my son had to help me out rubber ducky so it looks like a uh a monkey it's cute awesome um we'll put that right there all right let's take away some of the packaging here Get all of that out of the way, and we're going to dive right in. First thing, uh, next, I guess next thing he sent me is a couple more stickers. His stickers are awesome. Got one right there on my caddy, and we will definitely be finding another place for those. So that's really awesome. Beard of Ben, thanks for coming on, man. Um, Beardonomics, I don't know if I said hi to you yet. Um, everybody else, you're awesome. Thanks for coming by. Um, Honest Ape business card with all of Rob's information. Again, um, he's based out of Ohio. Not even going to try to pronounce a city, um, but he's based out of Ohio. His website, honestapebeardco.com, and you can also find him on Instagram and Facebook. So a business card there. And then let's take a look at the, um, the Little Chimp products first. This one here is his... Little Chimp Monkey Soap, Banana Punch. And um, so that's really awesome. Uh, ingredients, olive oil, soybean oil, coconut oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, organic shea butter, water, sodium hydroxide fragrance, and mica colorants. I don't know what that is. Um, but this is his – oh, that looks really cool. This is his children's soap. Smells great, kind of fruity. Was not it smells kind of like a just a, a standard all natural bar soap. So wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I thought it would smell like bananas, but um, I can definitely get the maybe the punch. That's pretty cool. It looks super cool with the little multicolored kind of tie dye effect. So that is the little chimp monkey soap. And Rob, is that just a um, all over the body type soap for kids. Um, make sure you uh, comment there so I know. Put that right there so you can see. Let's see. The next thing here is his Little Chimp Monkey Mist and the Banana Punch scent. Oil and wash smell a little more like, okay. But is this, Rob, is this here um, like an all over the body just bar soap? Is that what that is? Yes, full body work. Okay. And the monkey mist, I believe that's a um, spray lotion. But um, Rob, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I didn't really do my homework on, on everything in the in the children's. That smells really, really nice. That smells fantastic. It's a spray lotion. That's what I thought. Man, I don't. I've never had banana pudding. Don't really like banana that much, to be honest with you. But this smells absolutely fantastic. You, every smell, I get something different out of. You get a little bit of banana. You get a little fruity scent. Almost get a little, like almost kind of like a caramel scent. Um, that smells really, really good. So that is is little chimp monkey mist. It's a spray lotion. Put that right there. 
The, here is his monkey chimp, or little chimp, monkey wash in the same scent there, banana potion. Or b banana punch, excuse me. He says, Rob says, ch shake that up. My son, you can't see him, but he's standing right on the other side, uh, just excited as all get out to try this stuff. He wanted to wait until after I was done to take a shower, but I wouldn't let him. Man, that smells really good, too. Just like the lotion. That smells fantastic. My kids are going to absolutely love this. So that is Little Chimp Monkey Wash. Put that right there. And this one here I'm excited about. I think my daughter's really going to like this. This is the M Little Chimp Monkey Fizz. And this is like a, a bath bomb. Okay. It's, it's like a powder type material uh, consistency. And you pour that into the bathtub and it fizzes and it colors. And um, that smells just like a powder. Um, so it doesn't have necessarily the same scent to it. Um, or maybe it does after it gets put in the water or whatever. But um, that's really cool. That is his line. Rob, tell us down in the comments how much these things cost. So these guys on here and gals, if we have any, can check out um, your kids line that is just launched. One of the first people to get these. And my kids are going to be one of the first people to try these products. So um, Rob, drop a comment down and tell, much, tell us how much they are. Okay. And then we're going to dive into some of the uh, beard products as well. I'll get it all set up here. While uh, waiting for Rob to comment there how much everything is. $30 for the whole kit maybe. Bearded Ben says that. All right, got a whole bunch of us. The monkey wash is eleven ninety nine. Monkey miss is nine ninety nine. Monkey fizz is eight ninety nine, and the soap will be six ninety nine. A bundle without the soap twenty four ninety nine. With the soap twenty nine ninety nine. So that's a great price, and your kids will really enjoy those products. And I'm excited for my kids to try those products. So let's see here. Get all these set out here. So we can get started on the men's products. It's a box that never stops giving. This is awesome, Rob. Not done yet. Yeah, so now, yeah, that's my dog, man. He uh, he has a toy that he likes, and it's a squeaker. All right, I think that's everything. Put all that back in there, son. Make sure the dog doesn't get it. All right, so we're going to put the chimp and the little chimp stuff aside. Got a nice peach wood comb. Has his emblem on it. I think it's Peachwood, and uh, his name of the company on there, okay? Um, Honest Ape Beard Company, awesome. You can find his website, which is honestapebeardco.com. Today, um, and until he gets out of stock, you can um, go on his website and use the code APEFACE50 for 50% off. Beardonomics has been awesome, just kind of, Hit that every once in a while on here, and you can get 50% off his products um, until he runs out of um, kind of the old labels and the old, uh, old, oh, almost dropped it, 
old style tins because he's changing it up to these and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so let's take a look first at his pine tar soap. Really excited. This is my second pine tar soap that I've gotten. Um, Gary at Chesapeake sent me one uh, last week and this is the set. This is um, Rob's really awesome label on there. I imagine that's one of his new labels because um, it looks like um, it looks like the other one uh, it looks like the new labels on the, the new ones that he got there. Take a look at this real quick. Yes, yeah, new label. Hmm? What? Yeah. Um, that's what it looks like. Okay. Smells good. Almost smells like you definitely get the pine in it. Almost smells like a pine salt or like a a pine cleaner, which to me I like that scent, so it's not a bad thing for me. But that's cool. That is the pine tar soap. See if I can get that back in the box here. All right, so pine tar soap. All right, let's see. Let's put these in some type of an order here, and then we'll dive right in. Let's see. Slick Willy right there. Which one is this? Dutch that doesn't come with a bomb. Tricky Dick, right here. Just gonna put these in order real quick, guys. Bear with me so I can do this in somewhat of an order fashion. Um, let's see. Well, Ben, it's old sink or swim, right here. There's just too much, so I had to. Trying to get a little organized here. Cool cow. Let's see. Honey fits. Where's that one at? That one doesn't come with an oil. Let's see. Rail splitter. Right here. Tennessee Taylor, right there. Tencent Jimmy, Sherlock, and the handsome. Where is that? At? Handsome Frank. All right. I think we're a little bit organized now. We can dive right in. I have a little cheat sheet that Rob sent. Thank you, Rob, for that. Um, so I can. Doesn't have no. Okay. So I can tell you what the scent profile is, and also. Um, who the president or what the name comes from because Rob likes Rob is all about history. I'm a big history buff too. Love history, especially World War II and um, kind of that time frame, World War One, World War II, that that type of uh, of time in our country's history. And um, so he bases all of his products kind of around um, around a historical figure or in one case at least a uh, a fiction character but um so we're gonna kind of dive right in and we'll take a look at each product let's start out with the ones that don't have a um a matching either oil or balm or that he did not send me the first one is dutch okay looks like this is this is unscented um these are this is what his labels used to look like he's transitioning away from these just told us that um He's getting all the new labels in. They just came in today, I believe he said. So um, that is uh, Dutch, uh, no scent added. Almond seed, avocado, grape seed oils, and vitamin E are the ingredients. And this one is named after Ronald Reagan, who is our 40th president. And uh, let's take a look at it real quick. Rob, I believe, is going away from the childproof uh, dropper which I appreciate because I hate the, the dropper tops and he, exactly not even, no scent at all. So that's really nice. If you have a bomb that you want that you don't have a matching oil to, or you want to wear a cologne for the, the day, then you can put in 
Um, the Dutch oil, I believe he has a Dutch bomb. He just didn't have any in stock when he sent me the box. Um, so if you want to get um, something that doesn't have a scent but is going to take care of your beard, then you definitely want to want to do take care. Of, you definitely want that one. Okay, that's Dutch. All right, so let's go ahead on to the next one here, which is Rail Splitter. Okay, this one here is Peppermint and Pine. And let's see here. Rail Splitter is named after Abraham Lincoln, who is our 16th president. And uh, this comes with just a standard eyedropper. You can tell I think he's starting to uh, – to get away from those. Let's see. Thanks Rob for coming, coming on, man. I appreciate you spending some time with us. Mmm. Smells like peppermint. I love peppermint. This is a great scented beard oil here. Mmm. That smells so good. Don't get much of the pine but definitely get a lot of the peppermint and it smells fantastic. So if you're a peppermint lover, you're going to love that one. That is the rail splitter. And we'll take a peek at the bomb here. This is the old tin that he has. He's moving to a new tin, but Rob's bombs are some of the, the um, smoothest bombs you'll ever use. It's it, you put, you put your finger there and it all immediately emulsifies. Smells exactly like the oil. So kudos to you on that, Rob. See, uh, his label there. I don't know if you can see that there, a little bit of glare. And uh, the ingredients to these, Ohio beeswax, organic coconut, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E oils. And of course, um, the essential oils are pine and peppermint. And uh, it does uh, contain fruit and nut oils. So apply a small dab to the skin to see if you have an allergic reaction. If skin turns red from irritation, this can this uh, discontinue use. So a nice little warning there. But um, that is the rail splitter named after President Lincoln, and uh, that is the peppermint and pine. So let's move on here. This is Tricky Dick. Okay, and the matching bomb here. This, the each one has a different color. This one here is red. If you can't tell. Again, remember Ape Face 50 for 50% 50 off um, of these. This is rosemary and lemongrass. I love lemongrass, love citrus, love lemon, love orange, love grapefruit. Um, so this one here, again, is Tricky Dick, and that is named after um, Richard Nixon, our 37th president. Shake that up. Let's see how that one smells. Oh, man, that smells fantastic, too. You definitely get the lemongrass. And I'm not quite sure what rosemary smells like by itself. But it's definitely not straight lemongrass. There's something else there that kind of mellows it just a little bit. But that's a really nice scent, too. Really like that one. Okay. Take a look at the balm. Pretty sure his bombs are, are consistent with his oils. Okay. Smells a little, little um, not as strong, but definitely smells like the, the oil. Just like it, just not as strong. And uh, the label there. So that is his Tricky Dick, which is named after Richard Nixon. Put that one there. I'm sorry, guys, for my dog making so much noise. He apparently really loves that toy. Um, so next we're talking about Cool Cow. And this is bergamot and grapefruit, so it's a nice citrus scent. Okay, Blue color for the, the labels. Um, cool Cow is named after Calvin Coolidge, who was our 30th president. That is a, uh, a little on the light side. And forgive me, guys, if I haven't been reading the comments too much. Um, not trying to ignore you, just trying to get through these. <laughs> it does sound like a monkey, though, it doesn't. 
That is a that's a nice um, nice citrus scent, more on the light side. Um, definitely, you get that bergamot and grapefruit. It's a nice scent there. That is the cool cow, and we'll take a look at the balm here. Paulie, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate you spending some time here with us. And that smells exactly like his. That smells exactly like the oil. So but Rob is is very consistent with his um, his scents when it comes to the. Um, okay, so you modify to be stronger. Great. So uh, the oil and the balm are very consistent uh, in their scent, smelling like each other. Wait for the new labels for last. We'll move that one over here. All right, let's go with Little Ben next. Little Ben is kind of a uh, purple color, okay? And uh, this one here is a patchouli and tangerine. I'm not a big uh, patchouli fan, so let's see what this smells like. Um I appreciate that, Polly, man. Thanks for coming by and, and, and hanging out with us. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to Sherlock because that, so far, that's my hands-down favorite. But maybe one of these is going to surprise me. All right. So this is Patchouli and Tangerine. This one here, Little Ben, is named after Benjamin Harrison, who's our 23rd president. And this, the, the patchouli definitely takes over this oil. I get a lot of patchouli, but there is, you do get a hint of that citrus and it mellows out the patchouli. So this is probably the patchouli that I like scented beard product that I like the most um, because it's not so strong of a, of a patchouli scent. So that is the little bin. No, I, I agree with you, Josh. I wouldn't mind them being being strong either. I like a lot of strong scent. See you. Yeah, this one here is a little bit lighter than the balm or better than the oil. You do get the patchouli and the and the tangerine in it, but it is a it's a little lighter of a scent. So um the cool thing about um, Rob's bombs is they are butterless bombs, I believe. Um, they don't they don't have any butter in them. All right, so let's take a look now at the Honey Fits. Honey Fits, he, it does not have an oil as of yet, but um, just the balm. This one here um, is named after John F. Kennedy, our 35th president. Uh, his named after his yacht. So it's named after his John F. Kennedy's yacht. It is um, unscented but infused with raw honey. So the, the scent profile will be changing to honey, cedarwood, and sage. And the balm, uh, the balm will still be infused with raw honey. So that's kind of the background to this. Um, there is not much of a scent to that either. No, not much of a scent at all. Just a slight, a slight honey scent, I think. So that's nice. If you want something that doesn't have much of a scent and you're looking to put uh, something that maybe a cologne on that day or maybe you don't have a matching scented balm to a favorite oil and you want to um, to match it up with something, that, that'd be a, a great, great balm to get to put in. Uh, so let's go ahead now to Handsome Frank. Handsome Frank is cinnamon leaf and frankincense. That sounds interesting. It's got the, the green color there. And uh, this looks like it may be a new uh, label on the on the balm. Let's see. Flag, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate it. Uh, let me see. I can't believe it's not butter. Let me go through some of these comments before. I don't want to be a... A jerk, anybody and ignore you. Tony likes a handsome Frank. All right. Here we go. Handsome Frank, cinnamon leaf, and frankincense. Tony likes it. Okay, still a label with a new design. All right. 
Oh, man, that smells good. Oh, this might be – this is up there, guys. This is a – this is – this is going to be one of my favorites that he has. This is really nice. I know some of you don't like the cinnamon in, in the beard. I really like the cinnamon. In fact, um, you have to be careful not to put too much on, but I every time I use a cinnamon oil, I want more and more of it. I really like that spice that the cinnamon brings. And I'm not familiar with what frankincense smells uh, like by itself, but man alive, that's a really good oil. That is really, really nice. That is his handsome Frank. And let's check out the bomb here. Hey, what's up, Jay? What's going on, man? Oh, man, that smells so good. This is uh, – the bomb is very consistent with the oil smells absolutely fantastic melts immediately as soon as you touch it his his uh his balm starts to melt oh my gosh that smells great that is the handsome frank handsome frank is named after franklin pierce our 14th president and uh like i said it's cinnamon leaf and frankincense um Aaron, I've seen your messages. I think you're doing all right. I'm sorry if I don't comment on everyone. I've got a lot of stuff to go through. Um, no butters in, in, in Rob's bombs. No. Nope. Consistency is a key, and he does a great job with it, Rob. Um, no butters. All right, let's keep going. Old sink or swim, and this is, let's see. Old Sink or Swim is after John Adams, our second president. And uh, this is also a blue label, a little bit duller blue, darker blue than the other one. This is a eucalyptus and lime. So I imagine this is really, really nice too. We're just like, we're not ignoring it, Aaron. Oh, that's really nice too. That is really nice. You get the you get the lime, and you also get um, and you also get the 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 mint of the eucalyptus, and that's really nice. Oh man, that's nice, guys. This is a this is a I would recommend that one in a heartbeat. So I'd recommend all these products, but that's a really really nice scent. That is his um, Old Sink or Swim, Eucalyptus, and Lime. <laughs> Josh. That is a little bit lighter. It's, a, it's not as, as strong as the oil, but it still smells great. That's not as strong as, um, like I said, the oil. Let's see. You get beeswax, organic oil, almond oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E um, in the balm. So that's awesome there. The old sink or swim. All right. Now let's dive into some of the, the, new, um, the new ones. These ones here um, have these new labels on them. They look absolutely fantastic, really sharp with the new eyedrop or top on it. And uh, they are have the cellophane wrap on it. New label time. I'm trying. I, I'm, I'm so far back uh, because I want you to see everything that that's as close as I can get it. Really, really sharp label. Really, really like them, Rob. He'll drive again. Let's see here. Take off the, the plastic wrap. Move my fingers. All right. Here's the back. Okay. Is that better, Josh? Uh, ingredients, same ingredients. This one is a tea tree and grapefruit. 
Um, it contains uh, – has all the other stuff, shake well before use. Ten cent Jimmy. This is one that I um, – I've used before. Awesome, Rob. Um, I had said before when I reviewed this, I wanted it to be a little um, stronger. Rob um, redid it, and now it's stronger. Again, let me remind you, 8 Face 50, you get 50% off the uh, products that have the old labels and the old um, balm tins. So awesome, awesome deal. You're going to get fantastic products. Mm, that smells great. Rob, it is stronger. You get the, the the tea tree does come through. You definitely get the tea tree, but it's there's a a sweetness to it because of the um, what is that what's in here? Um, the grapefruit. There's like a tart sweetness to the lemongrass. That's really nice. Really, really nice. Rob, we have a we have a question here, Rob, uh, from Joel. Uh, Rob can't uh, can can't do it on the bundles. Only the bundles that are left, Joel. Okay, so Rob, you and Joel worked that out there. That's ten cent, Jimmy. That is uh, newly designed and stronger. Awesome stuff there. And here is his new uh, balm container. Okay, new label on the top. Um, nice circular label. And um, ingredients on the bottom. It's a dark amber plastic. I think it's plastic. Plastic container. Okay. Nice label. Got the guitar pick. Hey, I know you told me that you weren't sure if you put, put guitar picks in all of them. Huh. That's the first one I've seen with a guitar pick. So... Normally he puts guitar picks in all of them, but uh, I was jipped. But um, so that's awesome. There, I don't typically use guitar picks, and you don't need them with his bombs. It comes out super, super easy. But it is pretty cool to have a guitar pick with the Honest Ape logo on it. That one there, the bomb almost you get more of the grapefruit than. The tea tree almost. That's really nice. I really like that, Rob. You did a good job when you redid that one. That's really awesome. Yeah, the, the containers are cool. Very cool. So that is the Ten Cent Jimmy. Ten Cent Jimmy is named after James Buchanan, our 15th president. All right, so we got three left. All right, we're going to go with Tennessee Taylor next. This is one of my favorites that I have uh, tried of his and one of my favorites so far. And this is a um, sweet orange and lemon. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I really, really like the, the, the orange and the citrus and the lemon, the lemongrass, the grapefruit, the bergamot scents. And uh, this one was really nice. But like um, the Tencent Jimmy, I asked him to make it a little stronger, and he said he did. So here we go. Let's see. It is a little bit stronger. Let you see the oil there. This one's a little bit more yellow because of probably orange in it. Everything is stronger. Oh, it smells so good. The, the orange comes through. Maybe a hint of the lemon, but you definitely get a lot of orange, and I love orange. If you want just a nice, simple citrus scent, then this is the one to go, go for. That is really nice. That is his Tennessee Taylor. Tennessee Taylor is named after Andrew Johnson, our 17th president. And that is Sweet Orange and Lemon. Again, really awesome label there. And let's check out. Let's put this one up here on the stand. And you see his bomb there, very consistent. We'll put that one in the stand right there. Okay. All right, two left. Let's go with the only other one in here that I have not tried. That is the Slick Willie. And I'm excited about this one. This one here is 
Uh, let's see. It does not say. It says essential oils, essential fragrance oil blends. So let's see. Does it? Does he tell me what it is? Vanilla and lavender. I'm not a very big lavender fan. We'll see. Let's check out the, the oil first. Rob, I don't know if you know that, but um, on your Slick Willy essential oils, it doesn't have what it is. Well, I know it's on the oil, but it's, did you mean to leave it on the off on the bomb? Not sure if the other ones are like that. Oh, yeah, I guess the other ones are like that. Okay. It was on purpose. All right. Shake that one up. That is surprisingly really nice. Like I said, lavender is a scent where my wife will put it in the diffuser and I, I make her take turn it off. I don't like lavender, but mixed with that um, vanilla, that's really, really nice. I can I can see why guys like this one for nighttime. Man, that's really nice. That is Slick Willy, Lavender, and Vanilla. And we'll check out the bomb. Just smells just like it. Awesome thing here. Now... Going to my favorite oil and balm that Rob sells. It is my hands down absolute favorite, and that is Sherlock. Sherlock. Oh, let me tell you, Slick Willie, named after Bill Clinton, our 42nd president. But Sherlock is the only oil, I the only oil that does not have to do with a president. One's named after a ship. I think all of the other ones are named for a president. Um, but this one is named after Sherlock Holmes, and it is a um, – obviously, Sherlock Holmes is a fictional character, but um, that's named after them. Yes. Thank you, Beardonomics. Please, if you like the like this live stream, hit that like button for me. It gets, uh, gets me some more views, apparently. I'm not big into all the algorithm and all the – all the analytics and everything like that. I just put out videos. I don't really study that stuff like some guys do, but apparently it helps. Here we go. I love this one. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is a cherry tobacco scent and um, and a, a cherry, vanilla, tobacco, and bourbon. And it smells absolutely fantastic. This is um, this is one of the, those oils, <coughs> excuse me, that you go and just periodically pick up and smell. Um, I've done that almost every day. Just go pick it up, smell it because it smells that good. This is my absolutely number one, hands down favorite scent that Rob sells. This is absolutely fantastic. We're gonna put that one up here too. Put that on this side. Okay. Balm smells just like the oil. Um, okay. Same consistency, everything uh, that all the other ones have. Sherlock is amazing. Really sharp labels. Um, again, Rob, your, your new containers, your new labels are awesome, spot on. So we're going to put that there too. Now, what other two cents can we put on? The beard caddy that I would say are my number one favorite, or not number one, but my top four favorite scents. Definitely Sherlock would be number one. Tennessee Taylor is in that that top four. Let's see here. Let's go through. Let's go through and smell them all again, and and then we'll pick two more top top ones here. So that one here is the Rail Splitter, Peppermint, and Pine. Tricky Dick, um, ro Rosemary, and Lemongrass. Man, that's really good. This is going to be a hard choice because they're all awesome. Mm. 
That is a cool cow, bergamot, and grapefruit. Sorry to say that one isn't going to make the list. It's just too light. I like strong scents. Patchouli and, and uh, tangerine, little Ben. We're going to move that one over here as well. They're nice scents. I'm not. Don't get me wrong. That does not mean that they're not good scents. I'd highly recommend any of Rob's products. But we're talking about top four scents of Rob. That is the cinnamon leaf and frankincense. So I'm going to have to keep this one here for right now. This is going to be a tough decision. A tough decision. Shut up, Gary. <laughs> I'm trying to make it to an hour. Let's see. Eucalyptus and lime. Yeah, that's fine, Rob. I understand. That one smells good, too. I like the lime. Gary, I think when I did your unboxing, it was close to an hour, too. That is the Tencent Jimmy. That one's strong, stronger, but we're going to move that one over. Let's see. Slick Willie. Pick your favorite color. I did. They're up here. Orange. Uh, maybe not Sherlock. Isn't really a color. Move that one. That one's nice, but not in the top. Okay, we narrowed it down to four. Let's smell them one more time here. We'll pick two more. <laughs> one more Issachar is calling you out, Gary. <laughs> Rob, the code isn't working, man. Hook Joel up with a, a code here. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna have a, a lot of episodes. I think that cinnamon leaf is going to go up here. Cinnamon leaf. Um, that's the handsome Frank. Cinnamon leaf and frankincense. All right, one more here. <laughs> All right, narrowing this thing down. I hate snakes too. Um, and I think Tricky Dick. Is going to be my other one. So those are my top four. All of them are great. They all smell fantastic. Um, highly recommend any of these products, just like um, any of the other companies on this on this live feed. I recommend them too, but definitely recommend Rob's stuff. They're a great price, great products. And uh, but my top four for the live feed here is Tricky Dick, which is the the rosemary and lemongrass, the handsome Frank, which is cinnamon leaf and frankincense, the Tennessee Taylor, which is orange, sweet orange and lemon, and Sherlock, which is hands down my favorite of all of his scents, and that is um, his – Let's see, cherry, vanilla, um, tobacco, and bourbon. And I would say the one that has the lime in it, um, which one has lime in it here? The Old Sinker Swim would probably come in fifth. That's right behind. Uh, so really awesome stuff. Rob, thank you so much for sending me um, all these products. I really, really enjoy Rob's products. Uh, make sure you check out. Uh, if you have kids, his little chimp line, and uh, with the the body bar soap, um, the body wash here, the um, lotion spray, and the bath fizz, the monkey fizz. My daughter's going to love this. My son's super excited. He's 10, and he's not too uh, young to try that up. So... Um, <laughs> That's funny, Gary. Um, let's see. Yeah, man, thank you 
for uh, there you go. The Gary, the first five people to comment Rob sucks gets a free Sherlock bundle. See if Rob will uh, well, there Beardonomics. Beardonomic wins every giveaway ever. Um, let's see, Beard Brother, Gregory Barnes, Sean H. Need one more. One more. Is it going to be? Can't even get five people. Gary has to pay for them. Nobody else is doing it. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't agree with Gary there. Um, <laughs> <chipped in. laughs> um, but so make sure you check out Little Chimps. Really awesome stuff for the kids. My kids are super excited about it. I have a 10-year-old and a 3-year-old. So um, so make sure you check out that. Um, all of his products here, um, they're getting the new design of the new labels and the new containers. So if you want to check out some of his stuff, you can use the code APEFACE50 and get 50% off the old labeled oils and the old container bombs. Okay. Now let's talk about a giveaway. I am very close to, I'm just getting there. I'm very close to, um, 450 subscribers. So I'm going to announce my 450 subscriber giveaway. I will do a separate video as soon as I get out of this video, uh, out of the live stream and I will upload it tonight. Hopefully um, announcing that giveaway, but I'll give you a sneak peek. Rob from Honest Ape, who has all who sent me all these products, um, is going to sponsor that giveaway. Rob, since you're on here and I don't even remember what you're going to give away, why don't you tell them what they're going to win, and then I'll tell them the um, the instructions on how to enter. I will. I think I know what you told them but I want to make sure I don't want to say it and be wrong and give away more stuff than what you were willing to do. So Rob, you comment down there and uh, <laughs> Gary Namik's got all excited. Thought he won something again for the thousandth time, but Rob's going to tell you what you can win in the giveaway. And then I'm going to tell you the rules and then I'm going to make a video as soon as we get done. And then I will, um, and and once I upload that video, we'll launch that giveaway. And uh, <laughs> Gary, you're too much, man. Every time I see Nomics enter a giveaway, I don't even try because I know I'm not going to win. Oh, so we're doing three. There we go. Okay. So you'll be giving away three separate two ounce box sets of random new labeled scents for three winners. So um, does each each winner get one box set or does each winner get three box sets? Explain that to me. I just want to make sure that we're on the same page here. I think it's each winner gets one box set. And I think, Rob, we should let them pick what scent they want. They can watch this video and, and find out. One set per winner. Can we let them pick what set they want? And they can watch this video to, and I'll keep this live, um, you know, so everybody can go back and watch it, and they can pick the scent that they want out of that. Awesome. So the winner can pick the scent that they want. They'll get a box set, which is um, an oil, a balm. What comes in your box scent, Rob? Oil, balm, and I think the, the comb or something like that. Um, we'll let you comment there. This is how you're going to enter. I'll make a video right after we're done here, and I'll upload it. You have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to like the video. You have to comment down in the description box, um, hashtag, Honest Ape Beard Co. Okay, so subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment down below, hashtag Honest Ape Beard Co. Then you got to jump over to Instagram. 
You got to follow Rob at Honest Ape Beard Company on Instagram. And then for an extra entry, you can jump over to Facebook, like his Facebook page. And then you can, um, and then what I'll do is you can share unlimited, unlimited times. You can share that video on my, my the, up, uh, the YouTube video that I upload here announcing the giveaway. You can upload, you can share that on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as many times as you want. And each time you share it, you get an extra entry. Now, you need to show me or set, don't just put it up and not tell me. You need to you need to message me, email me, direct message me and tell me that you send me a screenshot showing me that you shared it and then I will add your name into the to the giveaway uh, another time. So don't just tag me in it because I might not see it. Don't just do it and I might not know. So you have to communicate to me Send me a screenshot. Let me know that you shared it, and I will get an extra entry in. You can share it unlimited times. It is open international. Anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world, um, if you're a subscriber, then um, you can win. And we're going to run it for two weeks from today. And, um, yes, I will do a separate video. On that video is when you need to – do follow the instructions and everything. I will make that video as soon as we're done and I will upload it hopefully tonight. And then, um, and we'll run it two weeks from today. So two weeks, two Thursdays from now, I'll get on and I'll announce the winner. They will get in. It's not complicated. Um, you can get in touch. The winner will get in touch with, uh, Rob and he will ship you the products from, um, I appreciate that, Gary. Um, he'll ship you the products right from him. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking an hour out of your night to spend it with me. Rob, awesome stuff, man. Thank you so much for sending me all these products. I'm blown away by your, your kindness to me. Remember, Ape Face 50, you can get 50% off the, um, the old label oils and the um, old con container balms. And it's definitely, but it's all the great, same great products. So he wants to get rid of those so he can uh, start running his new containers and new bombs. So go ahead and um, and buy everything out from him. Let's get rid of all that stuff so, um, so he can start making his new stuff. So awesome, guys. Thank you so much for... Um, <laughs> You're funny, Gary. Uh, thanks for coming by and, and joining me. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like button on this video. Um, from what I've been told, it kind of drives up uh, everybody um, viewing it and help, helps me get more views on it. Hit that like button. If you love Honest Ape, hit that like button. If you love The Blessed Beer, Beardsman, hit that like button. Um, nobody's hitting the like button. So apparently uh, you guys already did or you don't love Rob or you don't love me. Um, but thank you for coming by and checking it out. I really appreciate you all and all of your support. I'm honored that um, at 450 subscribers are just about there. Um, that means a lot to me. I appreciate uh, all you guys watching. Uh, Rob, thank you so much for um, sending me all these all these products. I really enjoy them. Can't wait to, to use them over the next few months and be popping out a whole series on Honest Ape. So until we see on the next one, uh, make sure that you, um, it's all right, Joel, I'm going to leave it up so you can, you can check it up, check it out later. Um, so be sure to check out my giveaway video coming up here. Um, in the next couple hours, I'll upload that. So we see on the next one as I'm knocking things over, stay blessed, stay bearded. Bye-bye.